even his no more. Yeah. I don't know who owns vitamin water, but they stink. God, you guys know way more about the economy than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're like 50 Cent owns like half the the sodas in the world, and I'm like, I don't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He does. Yeah. He owns mad yeah. stuff. He owns, he owns vodka. Owns, he all owns of vodka. vodka. Yeah. Yeah. He's an he owns executive all, all vodka. Chopin and. Uh, what are you, the other ones? See, Absolute. You know vodka better than I know I vodka. Yeah, I'm I'm gay. It's <laughs> it's like gay water. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it's gay water. Is vodka? <laughs> I've been drinking a lot more beer water. lately. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It tastes better sometimes. What kind of beer? Yeah. Uh, Fourth of July. There was this great deal at a bar. Where we got like Miller High Life's, oh, a yeah. shot, and a burger for ten dollars. What? You can't go wrong with that. Where? Are you kidding me? You know what? Don't tell and me. And you live in Astoria. I do, yeah. Yeah. And, um, That's the most American order. <laughs> it was great. Yeah. I love that. It was uh, this place called the the Diddy. I know the Diddy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess you don't burger, know it enough. Apparently not. Yeah. Burger and a shot for, and a burger, for, I mean, burger shot and burger a Burger shot Miller, yeah, for, for $10. That's a really good Can't deal. Can't go wrong. No, yeah. How was the burger? It was great. Yeah? Yeah, what? it was fucking amazing. How often do they do that deal? Is that like a... Once a year oh, on fuck. the 4th of July. Uh, yeah. Right. The day of our savior, day- George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got into a fight on the 4th of July. Oh, yeah? You know that... With that, George Washington? Yeah. I was like, him and his wooden teeth. I was going to fuck him up. <laughs> oh, man. You don't disrespect him. They were doing a, 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 like a street fair on uh, all on Broadway. And yeah, some Puerto that. Rican lady uh, got mad at me for walking the wrong way i don't know like i was yeah, walking that on AOC, the right see that's what she yeah. does <laughs> yeah she got she was like walking this way and we were going we we're on the right side she was on the on the on the left side but she crossed over and then she was like why is everybody in my way and i was like because you're walking down the wrong side of the street and then she, <laughs> she got real mad oh yeah you should never correct people yeah, no, yeah no. in this city no 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 yeah. no, no, no. Don't ever Just correct keep it walking. New yeah, yeah. Keep, keep it to yourself. Right. A female Puerto Rican yeah. New Yorker, yeah. don't, don't. That correct. was playing with fire. Like, yeah, that yeah. Was my why fault, would really. you do that? Why well, was my fault? Yeah, don't yeah. ever correct that person. No, no, no. No, yeah, that's on me. They've never been wrong. Yeah, <laughs> we're on this lady's side. Yeah. yeah, we know her. So yeah, that's what New York's all about. She's yeah. outside in the sprinkler. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see the last episode of Seinfeld where uh, they call up the lawyer? You know, they go to jail. Yeah. The end of Seinfeld, they call up the lawyer and they're like, we're putting us in jail for not helping someone. He's like, you don't have to help anybody. That's what this country's all about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's one of my favorite lines in television yeah. still. That's <laughs> yeah. what America's yeah. all about. You don't have to help anybody. No, yeah. <laughs> I've been on a streak of just saying that's what it, it, America's all about. Yeah. Uh, just pretty much anything. Anything, really. We had a clip. Uh, it, as we said, uh, what was America? About? Oh, hot dogs, dingers, and syphilis. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's America. I also got that on the fourth. So. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dingers. Dingers. In that order? Whatever that is. Yeah. That's home Dude. runs. Home run. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I told you I'm gay. I don't have to. There's gays know in baseball. That. So you know you wear a bat and balls? I'm sure there are. Law of averages. Okay, says so you don't be. know. Don't spread misinformation. Law of averages says there has to be at least one. It has to be what? Gays in baseball? Don't bring no. science into this. Why would you do that? Because the, like there's there's 25 guys on a roster, 26 sure. actually, mm-hmm. 20 uh, 30 teams. Mm-hmm. How much, what's what's that? What's the math on that? I'm bad at math. Mm-hmm. That's like 500 people. I don't know. Pull that, pull me up one gay in the. Let's see. John Carlos Stanton. You just pulled your He's phone definitely. out of your butthole. <laughs> right now. I'm the gay in baseball. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, gays in MLB. Nah, there's definitely. Then again, baseball doesn't get the same kind of cover. Billy Bean. Billy Bean. Billy Bean. Yeah. Let me see him. uh, It sounds like a stripper in Texas. (laughs) That's Billy Bean Flicker. That's Billy. (laughs) Let's see. So he's not gay then. You never saw. um, You never saw. What's that? What's that? What was that baseball movie about the Oakland A's? With Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt plays plays Billy Bean. Yeah. Money Ball. Oh, Money Ball. Yeah. Brad Pitt plays Billy Bean once. Oh, he was gay. Apparently. No, he had a kid and shit. He was gay in the. uh, That doesn't mean anything. That's true. But he was gay in the movie. Yeah, that's Billy Bean. Oh. I see. Came out in 1989 or 1999. It's hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I okay. guess he, he he never he didn't play that long in in the majors. Wait, when did he come out? In 1999. Oh. Mm. Why why didn't he he keep playing? He just wasn't that good, or he kept trying no, he to wasn't very good. the bats. What Both. was going on? Both. Okay. No, he wasn't that good. Okay. But he's a he's a very good executive. Mm. 
Uh, like, why did they get rid of him because of his sexuality? He's like, no, he just sucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. He was just ass. Did they find out? Like, oh no, no, he just couldn't. They found out he sucked. He just really hard. Good. He was that's, a bad investment. Yeah, that's what that's what'll ruin like a gay player. Remember um the the player uh the football player who was the gay football Michael player? Michael Sam. Michael Sam. Yeah. And then he 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 played. And he stunk. Yeah, he wasn't good. And no, and, really. Right, yeah. Well, so when he was coming in, people were like, yeah. "Whoa!" Like there was, like, it was split. There were people yeah. like, "I remember the, he had like a partner too, yeah. right?" Yeah. 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 There was and like this like, hugging, on ESPN. crying scene. Yeah. 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 And then he just like fulfilled stereotypes and was bad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was awful. Everyone was like, "I don't give a shit." I knew that was gonna happen, man. I, I just sorry. What were you no, gonna say? Because he was like co-defensive player of the year in, uh, in college, but like. All if you look at the stats, all of them came against bad teams. So we were like, "Oh, this kid's good." I was like, "Not really." He yeah. didn't do anything about against anybody. That's good. like saying like when Tim Tebow was a great quarterback, yeah, and yeah. then you watch him, he needs a running start to throw fifteen <laughs> yards. He was the the really Christian guy, yeah. right? He yes. would like kneel and do yep. the thing. Yeah. yeah, was that around yeah. the same? He was he around with um. Who was the guy that murdered the people in Boston? Aaron Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. They went to college around. together. Yeah, yeah. His I brother remember, just went to jail. Yeah. For what? He was uh, planning, he was planning, to, planning a school shooting. Yeah, <laughs> planning. Here's, here's, yeah. How did they find him out? His, well, some, it was some, on an event planning website. Yeah. <laughs> it was He's on a bright, school shooting. He's trying to do it on the night. Are you coming? Yeah. Right, right. It was on the calendar for on the school's website. Yeah, yeah. it was. A, it was on Eventbrite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Idiocy. Here's, here's the right. funny part. It was right after the Sadie Hawkins. Dance. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> what made me laugh is that he's 37. What school are you shooting up? At That's what I'm All wondering. Right. Like, how old is this guy? <laughs> right. What school do you have a grudge against? DeVry. <laughs> he's just going into the school <laughs> as Grand an Canyon adult. University. Is he like a shooter and a pedophile? <laughs> University of Phoenix. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> what a dumbass. Right. <laughs> no. Yeah. He um. He definitely has CTE. Like his brain is mush. The brother has yeah. to be. Did he, he also play? I he played know. in college. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Football's just ruining people's minds. Yeah. And he's yeah. like, I'm gonna st- like get. I'm gonna shoot up a school, and I'm an adult. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. Imagine, imagine wanting to shoot up a school like 16 years after you leave. Yeah. He like thinks yeah, right. he's in school still. He just remembered something <laughs> <Yeah>. that happened, <laughs> <laughs> and he was he went, like, "Oh, why I oughta." <laughs> Woke up one day. He's like, "Oh, this is I got an F," and that was. It's 2,000 years ago. Nobody cares. Yeah. All right. I tried it. <laughs> but that's I what I was it. wondering if Tim was, because uh, I think I saw him on the documentary with Aaron Hernandez, like that the Aaron Hernandez documentary. Yeah. The one on Netflix. They were college roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Did they, inter- I think they interviewed him on that. They might have, yeah. Well, they're doing a, there's a new uh, Netflix documentary, or I don't know if it's a 30 for 30. They're doing one about that um 2000 mid 2000s florida gators team that he was on because like it was all psychos and felons it was um nice it was uh it's a great band name yeah too. psychos and felons yeah <laughs> it was uh um aaron hernandez the pouncy twins who like were notorious pouncy twins yeah they were both offensive linemen they sound like bandits <laughs> Mark, <laughs> the pouncy uh, twins strike again <laughs> That's exactly uh, what they would do. Yeah, that's exactly that's, that's what they did. Uh, there's, Just I love beat the shit out of guys. Too. Football names are the best. The Pouncy Twins, uh, Jack Rabbit, uh, Jack, uh, Jack Rabbit Jenkins was on that team. Ja- his real name is Janoris Jenkins, but uh, he, uh, he he goes by Jack Rabbit. Jack Rabbit's a great nickname. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he got in trouble for uh, I think it was uh, selling uh, like a lot, a lot of weed in uh, in on at the University of Florida. Oh, yeah. It was there's a lot. He sold was, too much weed. A lot. It yeah, was like he, he was like a like a like like a drug dealer basically. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um. Who else was on that team? I'm um, loving the Gators right now. Dude. I think yeah. Percy Harvin <laughs> had like some some brain issues. Uh. Obviously Aaron Hernandez, Tim Tebow was on that team. Uh. There's a few other guys that got in trouble. I but think nobody on the team still plays football. That's what I'm getting. No. 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 <laughs> you I think th- Tim has some brain issues? Um, or did Jesus save his brain? Maybe, honestly. Yeah. yeah. He circumcised enough children in the Philippines to fix. Wait, what? You didn't know that? He was in the off season. <laughs> what a statement. Wait, what? In the off season, Tim Tebow would go to the Philippines uh-huh. and he was a missionary. Just by himself with a pair of scissors? I think him and his parents, but yeah. Wait, he would <laughs> circum. What do you mean he circumcised? I'm pretty sure that's what they do over there. I don't know. He, would, he was a missionary. But what? isn't that more of a Jewish thing? Yeah, a Christian missionary? What? Yeah, he was a Christian minister, and minister. and he would circumcise children. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Circumcision isn't a Christian thing. It's, you sure? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like a Jewish. And, yeah. Well, it's an American, American thing. Yeah. It's an American thing and a Jewish thing. It's just like a thing you do in America for some that like yeah. it, there's no medical requirement really. Right. It just makes your penis look better. Yeah. It does. I, I'll be honest. Because we're yeah. used to it now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, maybe you also you, like you like I think it yeah. started years ago, uh, before like a lot of like people took showers and stuff yeah, constantly, yeah. so they couldn't mm. like wash their dick as much. So yeah. They're like, if I, this mm. is me totally bullshitting too. Right I believe now. it. Um, no, but that makes sense. <laughs> Can we get a fact check on is, why? <laughs> that makes sense though, because like people like were showering once a year back then. Yeah, they I don't have a preference. When was no, back just then? wash it. Yeah, huh? or don't. It might smell when, good. When's back then? Like the the eighteen hundreds and stuff. Oh, okay. earlier than that, ancient yeah. times. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, them. They're not clean. I thought you were talking about like. 1904. <laughs> Back in the probably, 80s. Probably, yeah. <laughs> Back in, in the in 70s eight. during the last recession. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we were like, we couldn't afford to shower every day. So right. we just cut off the skin. It's like, you see the price of gas nowadays? You can't shower. <laughs> Did you guys see this fun ass video? I loved it. It's um, it's Biden's wife like trying to like go into a store and secret services like around her and shit. And then a bunch of people are just yelling at her. <laughs> What, what are store? They doing? They're she like just a going, your husband owes us gas money, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that to Jill. She's like the purest soul. She's I don't doctor. care. She's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about that kind of shit, man. <laughs> what store was she in? Like a Publix? I don't fucking know. It was like a like a store. That's funny. What, what, like she was, what was she buying? Was I don't she know. Said... She didn't go in yet. Oh, she never went in? No. Nah, well, she was on her way in. And then there were people because the secret then, service they turned, they're not letting they her in the store with humans. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know the, she's got to like go go into the store, take off her human face, try on the oh. clothes, see how they fit, put the human face back on. Yeah, yeah. You can't do all. Of yeah, that. yeah. It would feel very stressful going in, and then there's just men in suits surrounding. It's true. I'm like that would kind of piss me off in my right aid. <laughs> yeah. Or wherever the Dollar Tree. But if I, but if just if trying, I, to buy a, <laughs> trying to buy a, a vitamin water, here comes Joe Biden. Right. <laughs> by the way, this is sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> our new sponsor, vitamin, vitamin water. water. Specifically, the tropical mango flavor. I'm not going to drink to have my teeth in. What? What? My uh, Invisalign. Oh, okay. Oh. I call them my teeth. <laughs> oh, my goodness. For comedic. That's how, like... long, how long have you had uh, Invisalign? <laughs> Hmm? How long have you been using Invisalign? Uh, it's uh, two months. I've been on. I've been on the wagon now. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. It's is been it, kind of life changing. Are you singing? Kind uh, of. Um, yeah, it's it's very hard. Uh -huh. At first, it was like they cement like extra teeth onto your teeth so that hmm. it anchors the Invisalign in place. It's really. It was really difficult at first, hmm. but. Uh, and then like you gotta pop it on, and then a bunch of those little anchors fell out. Like like you can't see it now because they're in my thing. I might take them off in a minute because I really want to drink that right now. But <laughs> so you have to take them out every time you eat or drink anything. Water's fine, okay. but like anything else, like that's because right. it'll stain. Yeah. yeah, like yeah, because like you don't want to like drink like something with sugar in it like this, and then you just like have it sitting uh, pressed yeah. against your teeth. Uh, then you'll just not have teeth. Yeah. Yeah, and then I kind of like George Washington, full circle. You know, I heard he didn't have wooden teeth. It was the guy who like made his teeth were made of wood, or he was uh, his name was Wood. Oh, that guy. So they were wooden teeth. Because, they were like they, real they were teeth. That's they were his teeth. No, they were like real teeth that someone like fixed together into dentures and gave him. Uh huh. And Other they, people's teeth? I think so. Yeah. I don't know if that's worse or not. I'll be you honest with you. Way that. worse. <laughs> no, you can way <laughs> creepier. <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't want. Would you want someone else's bones in your body? Then what bones? I guess yeah, people do that all the people time. People do that with organs, I guess. Yeah. Well, do, do people do that with bones? I don't think so. Um, I mean, you can get replacements, like a hip replacement. Bones are, a little, but that's not bone though. That's probably like um, titanium. Yes. We do but that with, you can you can get your bones replaced. I yeah. It's not with somebody else's bones. Yeah. You can do them with organs. Yeah. Yeah. Replace right. organs, like didn't. Uh, Dick Cheney had that like some you ever see that that movie Vice yeah with uh remember like the guy gets the heart transplant and uh I think it was like Dick's like fourth heart attack yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they were like this guy deserves a heart because he's clearly just working doing the work yeah to keep his heart attacks down yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that movie because they do a uh 
they they make sure he's like a fuck up. Yeah. And this is like oh, obviously it's yeah. history. He was like a he was like a classic fuck up and his wife was like get it together or I'm going to fucking leave you and he goes oh, I'll just be the president. Yeah. yeah. And he got second place. Which is pretty good. Yeah. You don't divorce a guy. But he was the second. most powerful vice president. Right. Ever. Like he was like the real like brain behind Bush. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's true. Well, Bush I was on the top five jacked as presidents. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah. Most what? Jacked as presidents. Jacked as? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did he invent that word too? Probably. I invented it. Yeah. I'm one of the most jacked as <laughs> you've seen around. Bush. Me Bush. and the Ponzi twins or whatever they're called. <laughs> of. I'm the jacked as Bush. <laughs> no, yeah. Bush Bush is in good shape. I can tell. I mean, what was, I guess. I heard, yeah. He was like, uh, he was an alcoholic and then he turned his life around. I could see that. Was he a cheerleader? He was a cheerleader. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. He like, he only, there's like all these like, now there's all these like hero stories emerging about him since like Trump was president. Like he only ate like a peanut butter (laughs) and jelly sandwich every day for He wasn't so bad now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Well, now like, I think also like, like I was just learning about, you know, uh, Bush v. Gore, how like the the Supreme Court decided that Bush was going to be the president in um, one. Yeah, that was like the first time they did that. Yeah. Yeah. They or didn't they like sh- like officially say like, we think he should be the president. They ruled in a decision. Yeah. But mm-hmm. like I was talking to my mom and she was like, wow, yeah, I remember that being like serious and tense. And now that feels like nothing. Yeah. But I'm also mm-hmm. like, I wonder if just the media is more pressing in on us about everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything yeah. just feels way more intense yeah. than ever before. It's Absolutely. it's not just media either. I think it's everything. I think we're just more aware. I, like, I was, yeah. there, there, there aren't more stupid people. We just know more stupid people now. Yeah, because yeah, stupid exactly people right. have. Well, so. Thanks like, to TikTok. We have this like idea, like a lot of people have this idea that the times were better at one point. And I don't think that was ever true. I think people yeah. are always crazy and upset about something. Mm-hmm. Always. And you just didn't always hear about it. Yeah. You didn't hear poor, crazy people scream about shit as much as you do now. Yeah. Right. Like there's so many crazy, like Pompeii in Italy. Like we didn't discover that till like like hundreds and hundreds of years later. Yeah. Like it was just lost to time for the longest time until someone I'm like sure a- the people in Italy were like, oh yeah, yeah I know about that. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> the next time Nobody over, listened to it them. It became they, legend. It's a mountain, it explodes. It, <laughs> there was a lot of, and they're like, these guys are idiots. They make pizza. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the next town over. People were like, no, 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 you should have seen. It was like, you yeah. know when you see crazy people on the news? Yeah. They're just like, no, nah, man, like UFO came and took my sister. That's right. The people yeah. over from Pompeii were just like, no, nah, no, nah, listen. There was a mountain, it exploded, yeah. and there's a whole city of people covered in ash. Go check it out. And people were like, shut up. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that lady? On yeah, YouTube? yeah, yeah. <laughs> they got her saying that. Yeah, yeah. They ain't ashy, you ashy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I think you guys are right. It's just like, we're just more aware of stupid people now. I think that's absolutely. Well, because uh, so, we're there's just like this outrage thing, and we listen to, like I said, crazy people. Yeah. Uh, that's what that's who's on Twitter screaming about yeah. shit. It's crazy people. Yeah. Because have you ever felt the need to like go online and scream about something? Um, not really. I just call my mom. Yeah. Yeah. Scream that's, at her. That's what most people do. That's what my yeah. dad does. That's what my sister. Yeah, we all just scream at our mom. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fault. <laughs> no, we're just like, Mom, what do we do? Mom, did you write that racist Jason L. Dean song? <laughs> my friend Johnny does that. He'll like get he'll uh sorry I used your name, Johnny, but Johnny um, <laughs> Johnny, he like um He'll like go on Facebook groups and he'll like argue with the people on the internet. Don't do, he's a crazy person. And he'll show me like, Sometimes hey, look at my fun. response. I'm like, I don't care. I no, stop showing me all the Sometimes anger. It's fun. Dude, I corrected something on a TV show once oh, and then just comment. Yeah, yeah. And I know I and I knew I was right. Yeah. yeah. And they're and, like, kill yourself, yeah, man. Yeah, it was a lot for of defying. that. Defying. Like, that was the moment I was like, I'm never commenting in a Facebook group of something I like again. Yeah. 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 Because I'll just enjoy the thing I like. Just like it and let it go. Yeah, yeah. and I don't want to talk to anybody about it. Imagine it. like a museum, like below the painting, there's just like a place you could write your comment. <laughs> and then you could just like write. <laughs> someone write, writes like, actually, this was done in the 1700s. Someone under them, kill yourself. <laughs> I hope your family dies. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that. Yeah. I got I got a nasty uh, comment about uh, about my comedy. And, uh, Surprise! No, <laughs> that's <was> funny. 
<laughs> no, you're hilarious, Nick. I love watching you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I know I sound sarcastic, but keep. No, no, I know that's just I'm your not. voice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Need to address that for the people. I don't hate on Nick. I'm one of his biggest fans. Oh, same, bro. Um, thank you. <laughs> and you too, Stan. Oh, thank you. No, I, I enjoy. I, I, well, I'll just. Need... <laughs> well, oh, yeah. So I, I, uh, I guess that, that's like a, you're crossing a threshold into like somewhat popularity. Sure. When you're starting to get like nasty comments. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like it was, it was a lot of good comments, and then one was like, "This wasn't funny in any way at all," and I just wrote, "Well, a couple hundred people disagree with you," and. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just kept going and yeah. I kept responding and then I, I said uh, 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 your kids are going to get taken away from you you human skin tag <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy went see this is why you'll never make it because you care what some guy on the internet says about your act and I went yeah. ah you got me I mean, <laughs> what a hammer Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got the nuke just dropped <laughs> on me <laughs> I got into something uh on Reddit mm-hmm. or somebody it was it's what the it was like somebody posted a clip of like those TikTok lives where people are like doing that weird like NPC shit. And then oh, uh God. I commented and I was like, you know, this is this is sort of feeling like a like a modern day minstrel show. And then somebody was like, modern day minstrel show, you're that's the dumbest thing I've ever he- heard. You're you're an idiot. And I was like, see now you could have taken what I said and you know responded a nice way. And we could have disagreed, but we could have mm-hmm. had a discourse. And he was like, yeah, you're right. I was like, did I win? What the fuck? I think I, so. Yeah, I've never yeah. heard of that, that, yeah. that happening. That's yeah. amazing, Stan. Yeah, I screenshot it. I screenshot it and everything. It was great. Yeah. yeah. And you, then you, he like explained. You had a healthy response. You and got then, him to and admit fault. Yeah. And then he like. Which he like you can sue him. No. <laughs> right? He wrote back and he was like, I think what you meant to say was this. And I was like, you know what? That is probably what I meant to say. I was probably being hyperbolic about minstrel show and I meant to say this. But he was like, yeah. And then it was like, fine. Why don't right. more people do that? Instead of like, I saw <laughs> I saw some of the, the comments on ESPN's uh, Facebook page uh, after the Women's World Cup tie against the Netherlands. Uh-huh. And it was just, you know, no neck having white guys from the Midwest just talking shit and i'm like back you know how, back. Wait, wait so the greatest athletes in the world in this sport faced the other greatest athletes in the world at the sport and tied and and you fat guy from idaho has yeah. something to say oh yeah That's it was good. just yeah. so many <laughs> yeah. i comments. love those yeah and it's like they're like oh like i miss the days when you had to like try to hate you had to like write a, if you yeah. if you got like hate mail in like the 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 eighties you'd like you whoever sent it meant it like mm-hmm, you got to yeah. write a letter get a stamp they right. cut out little magazine yeah. <laughs> letters right you know magazines you, you gotta buy I love seeing that like like who you're describing like necklace obese people they like make fun of people on diets yeah. <laughs> and stuff like. Tom Brady is the biggest nutrition keto head you'll mm-hmm. ever meet. Like all right. he thinks about is what he's gonna eat. Yeah, and he's like tomato. He's like scared of tomatoes. Yeah, isn't right. it like he he's only eats like pizza certain... in their mouth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tom Brady has a thing where he only eats like certain color foods, right? Isn't that him? He. Oh, I don't know. Like he's, what, like, uh, the TB12 diet is like something weird. He wakes where... up and he drinks like, I think a, like a liter of water to start like super high alkaline starting. I'm like fascinated by his like regimen. Mm-hmm. I know nothing about football, but him <laughs> I'm like right. fascinated by. Um, he doesn't eat anything acidic. He does. He has very little carbs. And if he does like he, he like pigs out on it if yeah. he does, but uh, he, he does that. And then like, like it's all he cares about is like his health and mm-hmm. diet regimen. So he can keep, you know, playing. He's still playing now, isn't he? Well, he just, he just, he just retired. retired. Right. But we don't I feel know. Like he's he... like a Rolling Stones. Yeah. Like, this is the last concert, yeah, yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like an he's... 80s rock star. Yeah. Yeah. Every year it's a new farewell tour. He's going to be in his, like, in a wheelchair on the field. Yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. I got, and still killing it. Yeah. Too. Right. Being a superhuman. <laughs> he may not legs, but he's got one hell of an arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and he, he wanted to start. Uh, I think a television show at one point. He wanted to like do I, like I this, a talk show. Yeah, I know he started or he attempted stand up. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But he's like a boring a guy. Ugh. He's yeah, a like boring guy that kisses his son on the mouth. You ever seen him on like Today Show? 
No, no, it's like, just it's just that it's yeah. his diet, and he's like, I just love football. I love being a like on the Pats. I love this, my family, and everyone's like, yeah, that's great. And like, <laughs> he wants to do a talk show. You're yeah. gonna have to talk about things other than football and and yeah. vegetables. Tom. I'm kissing your son on the mouth. I don't think he doesn't talk about it, but he bring does up pedophilia. It. Yeah, oh. bring it up. Hot topic. What? Yeah. May, what, what line is pedophilia fine? <laughs> <laughs> How far can we take it before? Which it's line? Over? Yeah. In the, in the fields. <laughs> well, actually, it's the lines on the wall measuring how tall the, the, the kid. It's <laughs> <laughs> too tall. Can't do it. Yeah. No, no, now it's no longer pedophilia. Yeah. Is the table in the shot? Nah. No. Okay. I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna take my Invisalign out. Hell yeah, dude. Go ahead. Hell yeah. Don't look at me, world. <laughs> no. We'll put like we'll put jazz over it and go- <laughs> pixelate it. We're the like big picture of Invisalign. We'll pixelate it like it's like like it's Japanese porn. Oh yeah, we'll put tentacles coming out of your mouth. <laughs> just put a big like just like question mark over my face. So, <laughs> I just want to drink my vitamin just water. Just a giant smile. <laughs> vitamin water, uh the guy that invented it went to my high school. Whoa. Yeah. Micropoli. Really? Yeah. Wait, what? Micro poli? Re- my- <laughs> polio? <laughs> Micro polio? It's, uh, it's, it's very Italian. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah, micro poli. He, um, he went to my high school. He went to vitamin water. He also went to St. John's University. So, you know. Oh, okay. Cool. Every time I see vitamin water, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, they, that's how you know you're aging. Stan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever you see a thing that you have yeah. a slight relationship, yep. you got to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. I'm, I'll be 39 uh, in two weeks. Uh-huh. And I, it's all I do now. Right, right. you just like remember I just, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like you know, poly like, walnuts. <laughs> you know, nostalgia used to be considered a mental illness. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> to yeah. miss the past? Yeah. <laughs> to miss really? the good times? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Used to be considered mental illness to go, I remember things I like. <laughs> It's like all advertising built up. Now, advertising Honestly, does. Yeah. That's like locking up people that illness. slightly Honestly. annoyed you. That's what that was. <laughs> like we get it. Things were nice for you at one point. Go. It's true though. Like whenever, like commercials. Every I don't. You know, it's it, they're all geared towards. Like if you're uh, like my age, it's all like, ooh, remember this thing that you loved back then? It's yeah. coming back. Our whole society is mm-hmm. like our all of our entertainment is built around some sort of nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah. Like the MCU is just like pan, like it's just pandering to. To the nerds that grew up reading comic books, sure, that's, all that's it is. what a lot of what Barbie's. Yeah, Bar- yeah, but I yeah. heard it's also like very, like it's got like a huge political lean to it, which is really? what that director. I haven't does. seen it. No, did you see Barbie? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, 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 it was really great. Can you give us like a rundown? No. <laughs> well, I heard it was like a huge no. anti-man slant. It on wasn't it. an anti-man slant. That's, oh, what, that's, the men, what, was... that's what the men are saying. Oh, okay. This is what I heard. This is what the straight men are saying. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's who I listened to, Dan. <laughs> you listened to it. Go watch the movie. I want I, to. No, I spent all my money on Oppenheimer. <laughs> <laughs> all your... Get 20 bucks. Nick yeah, saw, Nick saw all my money on Oppenheimer. <laughs> Nick saw Oppenheimer for 40, 40 times. I kept watching it. <laughs> I know someone who's watching Oppenheimer in the morning, and then she's watching Barbie right afterwards. To... That's a good palette. I think blender. so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, such a sense of doom walking out of Oppenheimer. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the old days when you were like, <laughs> just "Do you start... remember the forties when we, we when we uh, started nuked. the end? Yeah. <laughs> we nuked everything. Right. Great days. That was the theme. The world of was the not movie. tense back then at all. No, not, not no. it was not a tense." No. time i find it odd that that movie comes out at the time where like nuclear war is more uh likely now than it was then yeah mm-hmm. and it's just because everybody has them now and everybody's crazy and mm-hmm. people probably forgot how bad it was maybe that's why he did that maybe that's why nolan made the movie oh to remind to go like hey mm, re- like this is really bad because yeah, like tensions are rising that's true with like yeah well uh, 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 uh putin <laughs> <laughs> Putin. Sounds like you're like hexed or something. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's a lot to say his name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's you're a sleeper cell. That's a hard Russian oh, name, no. Putin. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, he, uh, he, I think uh, uh, he threatened us with nukes. Again? He, well, he keeps doing it. I feel like he does that every, like, once a week. Yeah. He's like, it's right. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. in shine, bitches. <laughs> right. I want to drop bombs. <laughs> He like tweets it every yeah. Monday. <laughs> How long has he been president? He's been president for like 20, Ever. 20 yeah. forever. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's never not been president. 
It was Gorbachev, <laughs> then Putin. Was it really? It was straight. No, no, there was someone in between. He'd be but dead. I mean, it might have been. I mean, he's. I feel like he'd yeah. been dead. Then. No, well, he's probably started when he was like fifteen. He started running Russia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. God, I, I wish Gorbachev. my dad was here. He, he, would he tell, loves talking about the Cold War. Really? Oh, yeah. Love. It's all I grew <laughs> Are up hearing you a about. Russian family? No, not no. at all. Wow. He just like was very. He was born in 1950, mm-hmm. so he remembers the Cold War so vividly, like right. the tension. I remember him telling me that, he like when told I was a so kid. much about World War Two, also because he's like he just missed yeah. it. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, he just. Yeah, he was like, darn, <laughs> didn't Did he, see Oppenheimer. Yeah. The, the new. He, was he old enough for, he would have been old enough for Vietnam, no, right? Yeah. But he, he doesn't just, really talk about that. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's Did he really go? funny. No. Oh. He was, How did he not go? Uh, maybe he has, when maybe did has Vietnam feet, start? Like late 60s? Oh, did he Did he serve at all? Was he a, No. No? no maybe he, he has flat feet. So wait, he Is missed, you, oh, you would have missed Korea because that was Yeah, that was 1950, yeah. Yeah. Send them uh, three year olds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They won't shoot <laughs> no. them. Well, Vietnam was sending, Korea was sending three year olds. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we were just a bunch of pansies. Right. My, 18. My right. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the start That's of when they're just the starting to question shit. Right. right. <laughs> the start of Vietnam, he probably would have been too young, but uh, he would have been too old for what it, was after Vietnam? Nothing. Desert Storm? He would have been too that old. Was there was the Gulf War, right? Yeah, that, that was, was in yeah. the nineties. Yeah, that was like early nineties. Yeah, I had a barber who wouldn't shut up about that. How he served in the Gulf really? War, really? And he thought that like Reagan was he was gay, and he thought Reagan was the best, and he thought like George Bush Senior tried to kill Reagan. Which what? There is a whole conspiracy. Where's that guy? That. I want to talk to that guy. <laughs> New Jersey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah that's, where, that's where he would be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's cutting hair in New Jersey now. Does he still? <laughs> does he still not? Does he still like like Reagan? Oh, probably, yeah. That's weird. He was in his like fifties when he told me that, so hmm. I that's doubt a wild take. Last last it's episode, it's not wild for uh, people in New Jersey to, to like Reagan. Gays though, gays. Is he? He's a to, Republican gay or no? I don't know if he. I don't, I don't know if he affiliated with the party. He but just, like Reagan didn't like gays either. I just listened to what he said because he had scissors near my head. <laughs> that's like, smart. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Smart. Yeah, yeah. If you're, that's how like I treat my family. I'm just like, yeah, say whatever you want. Yeah. yeah. Well, if he's just like. Like that level of conspiracy and bully. he was like intense about it too. Yeah. I'm not gonna like question him while he's oh, yeah. just like, I don't want him to be like, oh yeah, really? You like him? <laughs> <laughs> well, so like people still like, especially like uh, in their like late fifties, who think like people who like Reagan, um, they still believe in the uh, when the, when all the hostages got let go. That that was because Reagan yeah. got elected. Yeah. <laughs> they think they were so afraid of this actor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that it was... they went, "Oh no, the guy with the monkey! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> here, take them, take them." That's what that's what they think happened. Yeah. <laughs> and then he just gave over some arms afterwards yeah. to them. To right, it's it's Argo. Like, Thanks you can watch for respecting Argo. me. <laughs> you know what happened? Yeah, he... Jimmy Carter actually made the deal to get the hostage. Literally back. inauguration day. Yeah. Right. Literally that was the day. Yeah. Reagan became president and right afterwards the plane left the right. strip. Because that's great timing and it's a great story. You turn the, your new president into a folk hero right away. Yeah. And then he did the tear down the wall and then he's a hero and then Nancy ran the rest of it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that that's what America really was about was taking uh, a person or a president <laughs> And making them like a Johnny Appleseed. Yeah. Yeah. And then we all fucking rally around it. That's where I think that's where the idea of like, like wanting to the idea that uh, the every man being a president, like someone you can have a common person. Yeah. Because they're given the title Mr. President, not your highness, not Mm -hmm. this or that or Madam President. Hmm. Soon. you be Miss President, right? Mrs. No, Madam. Oh, yeah. Mr. and Madam. Okay. Miss yeah. President, yeah. Miss President, I have a question. It's like a, it's, it's so like the teacher? shitty kid in yeah. the classroom. Excuse me, Miss, yeah. <laughs> Miss, what are you gonna do about like Russia and shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, first, you'd, I'd like you to use my name. I have one. <laughs> Someone's doing that. Whatever, to Kamala Harris. Yeah, <laughs> whatever, <Not> Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> Biden comes in. There, oh, Mr. President, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. He's like, Hi, how's it going? He's like, no, sorry, sir. I'm so sorry. That 
Yeah, to see me that way. And drooling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, Did you see him at the? You remember the DNC was online. There were the no. during the pandemic they had the DNC online oh, like, yeah, on yeah, yeah. Zoom. It was yeah. like a sad Zoom show. <laughs> basically, <laughs> they had like balloons and rooms. There was like <laughs> there was like the chair of the DNC, and then like uh, Donna Brazil was in like her house or something, like throwing balloons around and confetti. And <laughs> Biden's promising. I don't know how you got in that in the computer, <laughs> but I, I'll get I'll you get out. <laughs> <laughs> My first act as president, I'll do it. Get save, them. Bring them home. I'm going to save these computer people. Yeah. Jill gave a beautiful speech, and then she's like, and now introducing the man himself, my husband, Joseph Biden. He comes on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. Just dust yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, I was like. Who are you, people? <laughs> I had a little hope at the time, too. So I was like, come on, dude. Like him in his debates. Like him in his debates. He was like, come on, oh, man, man. Shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> oh my god those debates i was just like like this is a boxing match yeah. mm -hmm. between back and forth i had a i had a conspiracy theory about oh, lay it biden. on can I, I can do this yeah, yeah. okay this is a safe space, safe space. It's a safe space. Yeah. For conspiracy. all right and i don't give a shit what you people have to say at home <laughs> what i thought was gonna happen when it was uh joe biden and and kamala harris was that in two years they were gonna go biden is unfit. He has Alzheimer's. We got to get him out of there. Article 25. Mm -hmm. Boom. And now who comes in? The first female black president, mm -hmm. black female president, mm -hmm. Kamala Harris. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I thought that was the plan. And then I think she tested so bad with everyone on Earth. That yeah, they she's went, not... you know what? We're going to stick with the guy. With they tested Earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's, hey, not yeah. well -liked. She's not well-liked. New Zealand. New no. Zealand. What do yeah. you think of Kamala Harris? We don't like it. <laughs> they pulled a bunch of lines. Crikey. <laughs> they just talked to a bunch Oi, of... Oi, Cam! <laughs> Oi, what? Cunt! <laughs> <laughs> they just talked to a bunch of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, yeah, that's a no. That's a no from the sheep. <laughs> There's like one sheep who's like the chief and he has a crown on his head. <laughs> the chief sheep. It's king of the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> and now we ask this armadillo. It rolls up and rolls away. <laughs> yeah, she's not what she's not well liked. No, people like of all sides like yeah. hate her. Well, she got she got smashed out of out of uh, the running. Yeah. Uh when 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 my favorite Tulsi fucking Tulsi Gabbard slapped her. Or my yeah. dad loved her. I love <laughs> I didn't get why Tulsi hers. didn't get all the heat around her. Yeah. Cuz she was literally everything everybody wanted. Yeah. Yeah. She's like a not totally white woman, not too old, a veteran, sir, mm -hmm. uh, not not even veteran, current service member. Mm -hmm. Had did some good stuff in Hawaii and I thought, "Oh, she, she was, she's uh, she was a, in the bag." She was a moderate, yeah. right? Huh? She was a moderate at the time, right? Uh, she was like a moderate conservative. I think she was. Uh, yeah, no, like no, she ran independent. As oh, okay. Or wait, she was Democrat. Yeah. Unless she was like she an independent. What is she now? Because no, she's not. She like flipped, now. Right? I think she's independent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because okay. Democrats were just like, we're not doing anything you want to do. Well, because she was like, I don't like lose, trans though. swimmers beating girls. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, she's just like she, that's her yeah. whole platform. Yeah. No, no. But she said that, and they went, "All right, you're done." We're just they're gonna call you a, a quickest a way to lose is be stuff. quickest way to lose is to become an independent though. Uh, yeah, you can't yeah. Win as an I think that, I think that's what they're gonna do with RFK. Like they're just gonna like yeah get him out somehow. Yeah. Like what giant money is backing you then? Nothing. It's crazy yeah. that he would just Kennedy, have like people that believe in what he's saying. Yeah, it's crazy and, to me that a Kennedy would run and not win. Well, they don't have to let him be the nominee. They're not doing. They don't plan on letting doing him a get, primary. What do you mean? They don't plan on doing a primary, I don't think. On either side? No, the Democrats don't plan on doing it. They just plan on doing Biden again. That's a bad idea. So he'd run against whatever the Republican that wins their primary. That's not going to be good. Yeah, well, that's that's like coming up, isn't it? It feels, yeah, it yeah, feels next, like next. an election's not coming up. I feel just so ignorant. Yeah. To, <laughs> it, I just, it's in a year. Yeah, I, I, like, well, it ramps up. Like, I just feel like yeah. I, I turned off a lot of it in the pandemic. Yeah. It just like was starting to agitate me. Yeah. Right, well, you know? it, was, it made you angry and it was just made you, I think it made people crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah well, it, you should have just had fun with it. Debate should should be should I, I like the, I like the debates. Right. It's always fun. Yeah. I, I kind of want the long form debate. Yeah. 
I don't want the way they do it where it's like you have fifty three seconds to yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. climate change. Yeah. That's not a, that's not really a deb- that's not I mean it's kind of a debate, but it's not the same. I no, want, that's like, plug your sponsor yeah, yeah. As, as quickly as you can. But you um, guys talking about me undies. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. It's like brought to you by Squarespace. Right. Like, I, I I think that'd be great if a presidential was election sponsored was, by Squarespace. No, it was oh. like held like in long form. Yeah. Like you a town hall. Ten, yeah, like a town hall. You have yeah. ten minutes, make your point. Yeah. And then now you have ten minutes, make your point. That okay. people can decide. Or even just field questions from like an actual audience. Um They do no. that in like the second one, don't they? They have like by the time it, well, yeah, by the time it gets close, they're like, all right, let's let like CNN will do that. But yeah. Like, I want like it's become so huge compared to how it started like mm-hmm. originally. Oh yeah, well now it's sports they do it in like a it's format a for like highlights. Yeah. It's the blue team versus the red team and it's, Yeah. Yeah. You know what I love is how much people get involved like emotionally involved with it and then you, like nobody goes uh you know these people don't care if anyone dies, right? Nobody you know. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> these are all just millionaires. Like, sure. No, they, they couldn't care less. Right. About. It, they kill people. Yeah. 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 I was saying that my dad's a huge Trump guy. Yeah. Mine and, too. And uh not mine. No. No. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, fine. You want our dad? <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> No offense. Sounds like but Marky. That's a clip, bro. <laughs> you, got a cool, you got a cool you dad. dad. Who likes a guy who's not afraid to say his huh? speak his mind. I just I just want a dad that's around, really. <laughs> I don't care who we vote for. You can have both our dads. Oh, that'd be cool. Can they be can they be together? They can yeah, they yeah, can we're mate. gonna make our dads gay. Gay dads? For you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll be your gay white dads. Yeah. That's a nice sitcom. <laughs> You can you can make them fuck. <laughs> you can watch. They have to listen to you. to yeah. make sure. Yeah. <laughs> and they get really mad that you're marrying a white woman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because yeah. they're like my barber. The, yeah. the gay. I'm gonna give you Leon. <laughs> He's not my barber anymore. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. I like my new guy, but yeah, he doesn't give me conspiracies. He's just like. Mm. Yeah, business is just crazy, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect. What are you paying for a haircut? Like twenty bucks. What? Really? Yeah, here in a store. Not here in a store. In, in a store. Yeah. Where do you go? Uh, this place called Coza Salon. Hmm. It's on Steinway. Oh, oh my god, I better get money for this. Honestly, now. free haircuts um, at least. Yeah, twenty. And then after tip, I, just, I give them like five bucks. I used to go to cheap. I used to go to Rudy's on, uh, I guess twenty third, mm. not, not far from QED. Uh, but I live on Broadway, so there's a barber like right down, like on my block. I go there. Um, I can't. I should. I should not have said that. Um, because uh, black people, we're we're very loyal to our barbers, and mm-hmm. I haven't gone to my regular barber in a long time since moving to Astoria. Yeah, you're getting whacked. Yeah. Nah, I just don't, can't. You don't I gotta travel to a new fucking. Bro, I I can't go county. all the way back to my neighborhood. Yeah, to my mom's neighborhood to get to get a haircut. I can't. I used to go to this guy who he was fairly good with my hair, but he kept raising his price. It was like like nearly 50 bucks after tip. Yeah. So I just I found that new guy. And then I start I like one day I was walking through the neighborhood and like I was like on the same sidewalk and I felt like, oh, my God, I I don't want to run into him. I got to you got to wear a hoodie. (laughs) Yeah. Hide your hair. I just I just went to the other side of the street. (laughs) I got to find a 20, 25 dollars. How much you pay for a haircut? This last one I got was 30 dollars. But Staten Island, they take the haircut seriously. Yeah, well, yeah. All the barbers like I know of are just be expensive. glad you're white. What do you mean they take them seriously? They, they, they don't it's like smile. A, it's, it's like a they... black loyalty thing. Yeah, like like an Italian's does, barber is like it's the same kind of thing. Does your barber have like an Instagram? I moved. <laughs> I <laughs> like my my barber, who I'm very loyal to, is just he is too far away. Like has an Instagram. Like he'll go, he'll live stream the cuts, and like people are like, it'll be like people I, I know though. Sometimes he'll be like, "Oh shit, Stan's getting a cut." Like, I would totally watch that. Sixty five dollars I've I've paid. That sounds like oh. something that would help me fall asleep. <laughs> watching <laughs> ASMR. Yeah, watching you <laughs> get your hair cut. Stan, I don't say oh, anything man. either. I'm like, I'm not a talking person. I don't want person. you to say yeah. anything. Yeah. So yeah, I just want you to get your hair cut, and that'll help me fall asleep. 
<laughs> next time I next time I go, I'll send you the link. Good. Yeah. Haircuts may cost too much, but you know what isn't too much? How many shows we have combined? Oh. Dan, <laughs> where can the people find you? Not Anne Frank on Instagram. Yeah. And uh, my website, danfrankcomedy.com. It's where I put my Ooh, dates, or at least I try to. And uh, yeah, not Anne Frank on all platforms. There you go, Stan. Uh, I ain't got nothing. Uh, actually, not. Father Knows Best, August 10th. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, Fifth World Comedy Festival. We're bringing Leap oh. of Faith to the Fifth World Comedy Festival. That's going to be a good time. <laughs> Uh, follow me on Instagram at Funny Man Stand for all uh, dates. All right, we got some dates here. Uh, I'm just gonna do it for the rest of the year because whatever. <laughs> uh, August eighth, Eastville Comedy Club. Hey. August eleventh, South Forty Brewing Company. August fifteenth, Eastville Comedy Club again. That's my birthday. Hey, from the fifteenth to uh, from August fifteenth to September eighth, the Fifth Borough Comedy Festival, and in between that. Uh, the 26th and 27th, the Poconos Comedy Festival. Hey. Uh, September 16th, Broadway Comedy Club. November 4th, Nardi's Tavern and LBI. And there again on December 15th. Nice. Sweet. And uh, uh, bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> this has been Dan Frank. Yeah. Thank you. We never introduced you. We always just start talking. Yeah, just yeah, some guy. We always like... jump right into conversation. <laughs>